Hi, I'd like to thank you for tuning back in to Poem Praise 2, our next extraordinary African American that I have for you is Maya Angelou. Now she's a poet and a writer, and this is the information I have. Now for five years, as a little girl, she could not speak, but she later gave voice to beautiful poetry. Named Marguerite Johnson at birth, she is known today by the name she later chose, Maya Angelou. Now Angelou's parents divorced when she was three, and she was sent to live with her grandmother in Stamps, a small, poor, segregated town in Arkansas. She and her brother Bailey lived there for almost five years. Then Angelo left for a visit with her mother and her life was changed forever. Her mother's boyfriend raped her. She was sent back to live with her grandmother but the terrible experience left her unable to speak. Now during this time she began to read extensively. After graduating from the eighth grade, Angelo and her brother were sent to San Francisco to live with their mother. Now during a summer visit with her father, there was a quarrel and Angelo ran away. For a month, she lived with other homeless teens in an old van. After returning to her mother's home, she got a job as the first African-American streetcar conductor in San Francisco. At age 16, Angelo gave birth to a son. She worked at a series of jobs to support him. Life was difficult. At age 22, Angelo married, but was divorced two years later. Soon afterward, she moved to New York and became a professional dancer. In 1954, she won a part in the musical Porgy and Bess, and toured Africa and Europe. After returning to the United States, she and Godfrey Cambridge wrote a show called Cabaret for Freedom in an effort to raise money for the civil rights movement. Angelo continued writing stories and poetry then moved to Africa, where she lived in Europe and Ghana. Upon her return in 1966, she wrote the first of five autobiographical, no, autobiographical, autobiographical books titled, I Know why the cage bird sings. It became a best seller. Now in 1971, Angelo published her first book of poetry. Just give me a cool drink of water for a dime. It was nominated for a Pulitzer Prize. And soon, everybody was talking about Maya Angelou. Also in 1971, Angelou became the first African-American woman to have a screenplay made into a movie. She won acclaim as an actress and began teaching at Wake Forest University in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. 
1993, she was asked to read her work on the pulse of mourning at President Bill Clinton's inauguration. That does complete the information I have on Miss Maya Angelou. Please stay tuned for our next extraordinary African Americans that I have for you. I have is Guyan or Guan. It's spelled G U I O N Stuart Bluford Jr. and May C. Jemison. During the time period of 1942 and 1956, and these two are astronauts. So stay tuned. I certainly will have more for you. Um, be blessed until I holler at you in a few. All right now. So from me to you, here on Poem Praise 2. Later, y'all. <laughs>